Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Revan here, and in this video I'm, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Live Paint Bucket tool in Adobe Illustrator. I will also give you a solution for one of the problems you may encounter when using the Live Paint Bucket tool, which can be a pain in the ass. So let's get started. First of all, what can you make using the Live Paint Bucket tool? Well, this piece over here is what I've made with just the pen tool and the Live Paint Bucket tool. So when you know how to use the Live Paint Bucket tool, you will be able to make something like this. Alright, the Live Paint Bucket tool is found right under here. You got the Shape Builder tool, and under here you got the Live Paint Bucket tool. The shortcut for the Live Paint Bucket tool is K. So that's good to keep in mind. So let's make a couple of circles. We've got one over here, one over here, and we're gonna put one under here. So what we want to do is we want to color in those four spaces over here with the paint bucket tool. The first step is selecting everything. Then you press K because that's, because that's the shortcut and you can see there's a red highlight. When you press once you can see it, you're in the live paint bucket tool mode and you can color in all those different things. Uh, keep in mind it's not the bucket that is like the, the point it is the it's like the tip of the arrow. So let's say for example we want to give that a uh, let's say a red one and we're gonna give that a green one and we're gonna give this one a blue and yeah, let's put a black in the middle and we're just gonna get rid of the outlines and that's what you've done using the live paint bucket tool so what is a problem you may encounter when using the live paint bucket tool well for example if you make a uh, made a drawing uh, with, a, with a Wacom tablet or you've made a drawing in just on paper and you put it on your computer sometimes there are little gaps and the live paint bucket tool can detect all the gaps and well it's kind of fucked up so how can you fix that well let's just make a drawing so we gotta gonna, gonna make a square over here and we're gonna put a square over there and we're gonna put a square over here with just a little bit of a gap well if you want to do the same thing so select everything gonna press k press once yeah yeah and you can see you can color in all those things but not everything because there's a gap over here there is a gap probably around here somewhere so how can you fix that well if you go to object and go to live paint you can see gap options if you press that a menu pops up and you can just use gap detection it doesn't detect this gap so if you put it for example on large gaps you can see there's a red line in between now that means that the gap is closed and you can use it to use it with the paint bucket tool so let's say we're gonna put a blue one over here we're gonna pl put a blue one over there and we're gonna put the rest like a little orange and that's pretty much it so a couple of tips when using the live paint bucket tool uh, this is the piece that I've uh, made just the outlines of this one um, first of all select everything press K and then you can just color in all those different parts you can pick a color over here you can pick a color over here you can pick a color over here but what i like to do is i like to have a like a color palette over here if you press alt then you can just change the color you want so for example i want the brightest yellow i got and i want to color in this thing and then i want to pick a little bit of a darker yellow and i put it over there and just keep proceeding the progress and at some point you have like a i don't know a, a, a nice flow from 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 light to dark you can also like color in multiple parts at the same time. So that's for example, we're gonna pick this color and we wanna color in this one, this one and that one. You can just press and hold and you can just color all those things at the same time. Well, that is pretty much everything that there is about to tell about uh, the Live Paint Bucket tool. If you got any questions, put them in the comment section below and I'm glad to help and I will see you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like if not, refresh it, give it another chance. Got questions? Just ask me in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video.